Hey everybody, hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. It is late at night. It's like 9.15, I think. Yeah, I'm looking at my clock. And uh, we're getting ready to leave for the coast in the morning. So I wouldn't be able to make a video to visit with you guys until after I got back on Sunday, maybe Monday. And that's just way too long in between chats. So I thought I would go ahead and do something up now. And uh, then, well, you know, we can catch up a little bit. I want to thank Annie so much. Annie from Boise. Uh, Keith loved your gift. Thank you. And I appreciate the cute little pattern. That was very nice. You did not have to do that. You are so thoughtful. My goodness. Annie's the one who made me that wonderful tote bag when I was up in Idaho and she came up to Reb's Fab Stash and met me up there. And uh, that thing is so heavy duty and big and I love it because it is my media tote bag. And that's nice because I'm going to be taking my laptop to the Houston Quilt Festival uh, today. Actually, yesterday, uh, Barbara from All Brands, she sends out an email to everybody who's going to be presenting on the Brother All Brands or All Brands Brother stage. And she says, hey, we need a 30 second video for you to talk about yourself and uh, what you're going to do there and whatnot. And, uh, and and that's all the email said. And I was like, I emailed her back and I said, when do you need that by? And she said, oh, tomorrow. <laughs> so today I had to do a shoot for that and um, got that over to her. And so I just, I have been racking my brain. What, what am I going to do? Because I'm going to be demoing Simply Applique software. And if you're new to my channel and you're unfamiliar with Simply Applique, it is a module uh, inside of BES4, Brother Embroidery Software 4. And it so you can buy Simply Applique separate. You don't have to pay the high price of BES4. You can just get Simply Applique. And what it does is it will take a design and with a click of a single button, it will turn it into an applique design. So you can scan in paper applique patterns to the scan and cut or get an SVG file from a cloud wherever. And uh, you can download them. You have to get the SVG file into the Brother Canvas because it's a special, I don't want to get too technical. Anyway, but once you get an SVG file or a cut file or a scanned paper, into the Brother Canvas Cloud, you can download it and you download this file format to your laptop, import that into Simply Applique and it will create the placement stitch, the tack down stitch and the final satin stitch or um, blanket stitch, whatever you wanna do. It completely automates applique, fabric applique, quilting applique, completely automates it. And that is one of the reasons I started this channel was because I was just on the hunt for something that would do that. And once I figured it out, I started playing with it and I started making videos showing how to, how to do all of that. So when Pat Sloan asked me to uh, be on part of her book tour, I chose applique projects to show how to use Simply Applique, the scan and cut to cut out the fabric pieces, and then Simply Applique to stitch it all down. That whole stitch, stitch, turn, stop, stitch, blanket, oh, I hate that. <laughs> I don't have time for that. I love to do it, but I just don't have the time. I thought about the book Zootropolis, but there's a lot of pieces to all of those animals, and I really adore that book. But I've only got 25 minutes on stage, and so I have to each day. So I have got to get there, knock it out, and get done and get off stage. Well, I remembered a book that I bought at, I think it's Quilter's Cottage uh, near Houston. And it's called Count On It. Art, it's Art to Heart, Count On It. And these are patterns by Nancy Halverson. I just love this book. I, it's so cute. And you can buy each one of the um, months. So it's a way for you to put little projects for applique in the months. 
See that? So I don't have my other camera up, you guys. I'm sorry. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and make like the bats and the 30 and the 1. And I'm going to do all of these in Simply Applique. So I'm very happy that I have figured out what I'm going to do. And then now all I have to do, I'm going to go ahead and make some samples so they're there at the show. And um, then I'll make one while I'm on stage. And that's just going to be really cool. That's like a huge weight off me to be able to... Okay, this is what I'm going to do, right? I'm working on the uh, Hustle and Bustle line, the Christmas in the City quilt kit from Fat Quarter Shop. And I put together two of my blocks. One of you uh, actually left me a comment and said, hey, one of your blocks is wrong in your lower corner. <laughs> and I looked at it, and not only was that one wrong, but another one was wrong. So that's just a great, like I said, you need to put these kind of quilts up on your design wall and leave them alone for a while and look at them and look at them and look at them. And so I got this block finished and I got this block finished. So um, they're actually identical, but you, they turn different ways. But yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be moving along with that. There's a total of uh, 12 blocks in the quilt of these larger blocks. There's a total of 120 little four and a half inch. Um, but there's 120 four by four and a half by four and a half, four patches, and then I guess there's 60 of these. I can't remember. But anyway, so there's 12 of these blocks total. No, I'm tired. It's late. And I'm just going to do one or two a day and move along with that. Hey, um, Dime, Designs and Machine Embroidery, they have started carrying their steady stitch bobbins it's a class a style 15 bobbin with clear plastic side pre-wound with 130 yards of size 70 d2 so 70 weight uh, continuous filament polyester bobbin thread one time use color white so these are good they're all pre-wound you will get 30 six of these so you'll get three dozen in a tube if you have a lot of embroidery work coming up and you are using the class 15 so these are perfect to go in any brother machine pretty much that does embroidery this is the size that it takes they've got them in white and black and I've got three of these um, so here's the black ones right here okay and then there, I've got two of the white. So they've got these things in these tubes to get you ready for uh, what is coming up with the Christmas season if you've got a lot of stitching to do. So there is 60 weight, 97 yards of 60 weight that you can get. There is 130 yards of 70 weight bobbins or you can get 115 yards of 70 weight in black and they might have other kinds as well but I will link to these below y'all you can't have enough right you just can't have enough also if you have a brother machine and you're using pre-wound bobbins consider switching out to your other bobbin case that has the purple dot that bobbin case is designed for pre-wound bobbins because they generally have a tighter tension uh, and then uh, what the ones you can make yourself so anyway so the stitching of the Christmas ornaments was a huge hit with my DAR group it was so funny I had them out set on everybody's place and uh, I had little pin cushions and some scissors and everything and boy those ladies just sat down and they just took to them and started stitching them and we had a couple ladies make more than one and they were really nice so uh, now I've got to get them over to the veterans home so that was really cool huge success on that it was nice because it was simple and let's see um, oh so I have put together the candy corn quilt shop I'm working on the borders now so let me tell you what I'm doing with this the the quilts all together the embellishments are the last thing that you do once you get it all together because you don't want to be manhandling it running it through the machine with embellishments on it 
So all of my blocks have batting in them and background quilting. So they're thicker than what would be for the borders. And I have the first border put on, the orange border. I'm gonna finish this this weekend down at the coast. And the second border is already cut and ready to go on. And then once that's finished, I will stitch in the ditch to go ahead and put it all together with the backing and then get it bound. But I need to quilt the borders so that they have the same density and consistency as the blocks. Let me put my, my batting away. I did a test and I think what I'm gonna do is use the clear blue tiles, Kimberbell's clear blue tiles in the borders. Now they have some designs that you can do that that are part of the um, they're part of the background quilting, but those are block by block designs. I think I need to double check that. But the block by block designs have a batting placement line, tack down line, fabric placement, fabric tack down. I don't want that on my borders. I want continuous quilting on my borders. So I checked out what is available in the clear blue tiles and I actually can use the five by 10 and five by seven blocks to quilt my borders. And I don't think I want to do the orange border separate with different quilting from the black. I think I'm just going to do it all at once and call it good, you know, I think. So I'll let you know how that goes. Down at the coast, I've got an embroidery machine down there. I have a brother quattro, an old brother quattro down there. Oh, speaking of uh, embroidery machines, so in a previous video, I had told you I got the brother NQ3700D, and I love that machine. I have it set up in here right now over in this back corner, and it is set up as my sewing machine, and my other... Uh, I, I had a PC 420, a brother PC 420 sewing only. That's going to the coast as a spare. I gotta move my machines around. <laughs> so my buddy Jason came over. He's uh, my brother repair technician. And he came over when I was working on one of the fall table runner, the Designs by Juju fall table runner embroidery block. Y'all, I don't know what I did. Thread got hung up or something. That thing wasn't running one minute. And it had a safety notice and um, bent a needle like almost 90 degrees. <laughs> it was bad. And then it wouldn't cut thread anymore. And I said, oh no, brand new machine right out the box. It's like when you get a new car and within a week you got a little scratch or a dent on it, you know. Oh, I was heartbroken over it. But Jason came over and took a look at it and all I did was throw out the timing on the trim blades. So he fixed that. There was no major damage and it's all fixed, so that's fine. And then he also gave um, a, a full service to a Baby Lock Elegante 2 that I have. It's, a, it's an old machine and I'm the only user of it. I'm the second owner, but the only user. The The lady who bought it, right after she got it, uh, she went into a home and then she passed away and her daughter sold it. eBay. I think it was a Facebook find. Anyway, Craigslist. That's what I got it on Craigslist. So it only has like 63 hours on it and that's it, which is nothing uh, for embroidery machines. So I'm going to sell it. And I'm going to put it on our store site. So one of the missions that I have when I go down to the coast this weekend is I've got um, the case and the hoops and all that stuff. I got to get all that together because it's going to go with it as well. But it's here and it's in perfect condition. He's, he gave me a, a clean bill of health on it. And he's because, you know, I don't want to sell anything that might have issues because I love my machines and I like to take care of them. So he said, yeah, you should feel no trouble at all um, selling that machine because I just have too many. While I was at DAR, the vice regent, my vice regent, Linda, very nice lady, gave me a towel she had stitched. You guys, she hand stitched this. I am in awe 
and and she did a wonderful job her uh, her embroidery is just gorgeous I wish I had the patience and the skill I don't I'm a machine girl y'all know that and Christy from Reb's Fab Stash she sent me remember I had showed y'all I got a CD called Woe Girl 2 from Laure uh, Lorelei Designs it was on sale half price at the quilt house up in uh, New Braunfels well she had a bunch of this fabric and she sent it to me as an early birthday present how nice is that that was really nice so it's a Lorelei Woe Girl panel very cool it's got boots I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I love Lorelei designs, all of it. They've got these cool things. Looks like Dolly Parton all dressed up in a cowgirl outfit. <laughs> very neat. Very neat. Thank you, Christy. Appreciate it. A lot of fun. I'll have to put something together with this. I don't know. Okay. I think I've rattled on long enough. It's time to go to bed. It's past my bedtime, you guys. I like to hit the hay about 8.30. <laughs> uh, you know... So anyway, uh, you girls down in Australia will see it first. All right, so this weekend, uh, my, my mission is to finish Candy Corn Quilt Shop, get the borders on it, get the borders quilted using the clear blue tiles. I will show you how I do that. And uh, just pretty much uh, then start doing the embellishments and have it done. I'd like to have it done by the end of the weekend so it's ready for Halloween, but... All right, you guys, that's it. We'll talk to you soon. Go sell something. Bye.